Well, I'm quite excited about this because I'm going to get to show you behind the scenes. And it's all about my new American Vogue cover. But I want to start at the beginning. So the first time I worked for American Vogue was a shoot 1986 with Stephen Mizell in New York City. I was 16 years old. My first US Vogue cover was Anna Winter's first September issue. And I found out on No Filter that Anna Winter had to fight for me to get that cover. And I remember holding up your beautiful cover and, and showing it to him and, and he said, oh, Anna and it it wasn't really a, it wasn't a criticism in any way it was it was just a question he said you're going to put an African American model on the September cover of American Vogue and you know honestly Naomi it never crossed my mind never to think crossed that your mind. I just thought this is a fantastic girl this is a model and of I didn't model. Know this, this is a great image and we made history together so you see I found that out in 2020 so that's God knows what almost 30 years ago. American Vogue, it was a symbol of that you really made it as a model in your field and respected by your peers and working with the great photographers, the great editors, the great, the best in all their fields, great best hair, best makeup. It was just a really big symbol when I started modeling. Yes, it, would, it was a dream to think, oh, wouldn't it be nice to have a cover of Vogue to celebrate my 50th year? was not planned, didn't know about, and truly, when asked, was quite surprised. Um, I didn't say yes right away, as I really wanted to think about all that's going on in the world. And we decided to move forward. It's a milestone of my age as a woman today. And this for my family, but more than anything, this cover is for my culture. I've had a long history of working with Anna Winter. Since 1988 at British Vogue, I can always say that she has never made us look stereotypical in any way. The first time I met Anna Winter, I was, I believe, 17 or just embarking on 18 years old. And it was in London at Vogue House in Hanover Square. My first time shooting for Anna Winter was with Robert Erdman in 1988 for British Vogue. And the editor on that job was Mouchette Bell, one of the first black editors that I ever worked with in my entire career. It was nice, because back in the day, editors, editors in chief, met models. It was very normal. And I think it was a good thing that that happened. So we built a rapport with the editor-in-chief. It was more intimate, the relationship. It wasn't just like, you never see her because there's a casting director in between. Not putting down casting directors. I'm from the old school. So we would just take pictures. Then when everything became digital, we just trusted. We trusted the photographer. You could feel it through the camera. Your eye, your vibe would connect. You know if it was feeling good, if you were in sync with the photographer. That's how I work. Still I try to do that till this day. I don't look at the monitor because I feel the monitor, you're gonna to wanna to look at, you. you're looking at yourself, wanting to change yourself. The whole point of what you're doing is because you gotta trust the person in the team that you're with and you want them to recreate you to be something that you haven't done before. So after 34 years of modeling, I'm always so excited to know how they're gonna make me look next. It's always a thrill for me. So I'm not a monitor girl. I go on trust of my team that surrounds me. I always love working with new talent, new photographers, new hair, new makeup, new stylists. I trust you have to give the new generation the opportunity and chance. And that's one of the things why I love going to the emerging countries and working with young emerging designers who don't get the opportunity to have the platform we get of being in these fashion cities. So that's why it's so important to me. Shoots like this don't just happen overnight, shoot an American Vogue from 2020. It takes a lot of planning, a lot of you know pieces to fit the puzzle, people coming together. 
and with all that's happening in the world, you know, extra caution, of course, and safety, absolutely. So, God bless everyone in being able to pull this off. I mean, for me, this shoot will remain a dream in my mind, the shoot that I never thought could happen. That's never saw it happening, never thought could happen. And this shoot was really gonna be in my mind as a dream. A blessed, grateful, embraced, safe dream. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Being Naomi and being behind the scenes on my American Vogue cover shoot 2020. Thank you so much and see you soon.